Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Courage and honour. Welcome to this amazing ultramarine commission which we've had the pleasure of working on. There are loads of great miniatures to view through this video showcase, so make sure you stick around all the way through. Um, there will be no better place as ever than to start with the characters of this force, and there's quite a few as you can see. This whole project has been completed by Fletch, one of the artists here at Siege, who's done a really, really phenomenal job on the project. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look, and let's work our way from front to back, uh, and leaving the, the, uh, the main man himself till last. Let's have a look at the Victrix Guard to start off with and uh, this uh, lovely scheme we've got on these ultras is uh, very 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 vibrant but uh, certain aspects are a little bit desaturated so that the blue really does push through you've got the first is Victrix guard here with all the gold work uh, being very ornate and ancient looking we didn't want it to be super super yellow so it's got a nice kind of mid kind of warmer kind of tone to it which is quite nice um, and then we move around the back you see this lovely desaturated maroon kind of shawl kind of color with all the highlighting done on it um, which I think just suits really really well um, super sharp highlighting on all the armor paneling as you can see um, and you've got the little glowing node there on the uh, on the power sword as well so that's just the first of the two victories let's pull forward the next chap for you to have a look at obviously mirrored in the other direction exactly the same consistency all the purity seals with text on them as you'd expect with us here at siege um, and then moving around again just to show you the highlighting done on that cape nice and subtle uh, which really works quite nicely with the miniature uh, so that's just the other victrix then let's have a look at the, the, the marnius calgar the man the myth the legend uh, again Fletcher's done a great job on this model he's uh, crossed the rubric on Primaris and uh, come back and still fist pumping as ever um, but again a really really cool model um, all the little areas of details are all fully painted to a super sharp fashion We've got these lovely uh, accent colours, the reds that are used on the, against the blue on the sort of uh, tassels across the chest. Uh, you've got the leather work that's got nice little scratches on it, which I think just suits really real, well with him with this super clean finish. Purity seal with text on it again, as I mentioned, uh, and just get that to focus a bit better for you guys so you can see. But there's all the text that's done on there. You've got the ultra symbol on the kneecap. All those different areas of details are fully done. The uh, eyes and teeth and everything done on the face. Uh, nice subtle tones on the face, which is quite nice as he's an aging chap uh, with. His uh, sort of uh, white hair plus obviously you've got those cables that are all picked out on the side of his bionics with the chevron one and also the red cable there uh, move around the back so you can see the rear of the miniature uh, you've got a really super clean finish all the edging done to a super sharp fashion and again the same desaturated maroon red kind of uh, cloak as well which I think just works quite nicely with the model uh, and while we've got a larger base in hand you can see this kind of like a uh, steampunk-esque kind of sci-fi city kind of uh, basing that we've done on it um, and this is an additional phase to previous phases of ultras which we've done and uh, we're just matching the basing which we've done you've got some tread plates some cogs some gantry work some spare weapons and crates and things but a really really cool uh, overall finish on these miniatures so that's just Marnius himself uh, we'll then look at Tigerius uh, the awesome librarian that uh, is just uh, across the Rubicon as well so another of the ultras to pass that uh, that change in a slightly darker armor color which I think works quite nicely it's uh, not as saturated as uh, the rest of the blue in the force but the shoulder pad uh, has, has kept that blue saturation so you can see that really vibrant pad which we've got um, the uh, banner to start off with has got all the text and everything done it you've got Tigerius that's just been sort of put uh, I think that's sculpted but then you've obviously just had it contrasted so it stands out a bit better and um, we've got all the cables on the side of the head again with chevrons all the little lenses and lights are all done and we've got these phenomenal glowing eyes as he's just using a power uh, which I think suits quite nicely lovely subtle red tinge and tone on the skin on the underside which works quite nicely um, you've got all the keys and all the purity seals are all done he's just standing there obviously foot raised on some uh, some canisters which is quite cool and I do love the black gloves uh, just is, which is really really nice uh, you've got the stave which has got uh, all the text and everything done on the purity seal all the little lights and lenses are done on there and I love that on the uh, on the sort of uh, crest 
that you've got the darker portion at the bottom going up to that light at the top which works quite nicely uh, the red cabling done on the back of him and if we have a look at him from the back you've got that subtle red uh, sort of de desaturated red sort of uh, cape which I think works quite nicely where it goes darker towards the top and a lot of brighter at the bottom with those edges just caught quite nicely same on the banner brighter at the top and darker at the bottom which just works and all the gold work as I mentioned across this commission having that very very sort of uh, warmer tinge to it not super saturated it gives it more of an ancient and ornate feel which I think works quite nicely for these kind of regal uh, ultramarines so that's just Tigerius um, let's now have a look at the apothecary uh, in a really super vibrant white contrasting colour super clean as you'd expect with us here at Siege um, all of the uh, dials and buttons and things fully painted the canisters on his hip with liquid and vi and blood for example flowing in those lovely subtle amounts of OSL on the light it's not overpowering and doesn't look like he's at a disco um, really really awesome uh, sort of lighting effect on that light and all the lenses there fully painted if we just turn him round, you can see every little screen and dial and button is all done. Uh, even the ones on the wrist, for example. Uh, and then move around, you've got all these really cool little details that have all been painted. There's nothing missed at all whatsoever. Um, if we just have a look, obviously, at the, uh, the progenoid glands that he's got in his hand, uh, just inspecting those. But they're all done to a really super clean fashion as well. And you've got the glass optical lens thing that he's got there, which works extremely well. So that's just this uh, really, really lovely apothecary. Um, so that's just him. We'll then have a look at the chaplain. Uh, now the chaplain's had a little bit of conversion work done to him, so he uh, he he's kind of a bit like uh, Chaplain Cassius. Uh, but we've used a couple of bits. Uh, to kind of so he can potentially be used as Cassius or just a regular chaplain but you can see all the scrolls and all the purity seals all done with loads of text uh, the face has got a really lovely subtle undertone of red just showing that blood flowing through the flesh uh, which I do really like um, and again really super clean finish on this guy uh, I love the sort of sheen on the uh, on the brown cloak as well so it gives it a little bit of a leather kind of like oily look to it which is really nice um, but again all the gold is uh, just a very very sort of desaturated kind of gold it's not super vibrant but it's got more of an ornate or ancient feel to it which is uh, the vibe across the force and there would be no f a way we could miss out this last character which is the man the legend himself Mr. Gulliman, uh, again, a really phenomenal model. Uh, I've always liked this since it came out and uh, obviously carrying his father's sword. Uh, Fletcher's done a stellar job on this miniature. Um, all the filigree across the armour, fully highlighted through multiple stages uh, to draw the eye to that sort of super vibrant filigree. Um, you've got all the purity seals fully painted with text, all the lenses and everything done. Again, I really like the uh, the basing on this. We've kind of used the the pose, and then uh, and then obviously manipulated him onto a couple of gantries, and that's uh, actually uh, a, I think one of the turrets from a storm raven, if memory serves correct. Uh, and you've obviously got the uh, the emperor's sword here with all that sort of highlighting work done on it, just to show that sort of uh, burning effect and the flames just licking off that blade. Um, if we go around the back, you'll see the mechanicus cog fully painted, all the lenses and screens and everything on the suit all done, uh, all the cabling, but a super super clean finish on. The uh, Mr. Gulliman and uh, he's obviously got a helm which we've done in a complimentary white uh, which I do really like it just makes uh, the, the sort of uh, that feature of his head stand out really well the crest is obviously painted and I uh, love the way it goes from darker to light across the crest I think that's really lovely uh, so that is Mr. Gulliman to lead this uh, this ultramarine force and that's all the characters from the army guys I do hope that you like them up next we have a lot of infantry and uh, some heavier firepower coming up so don't miss out on those So following on from all the characters from this Ultramarine Force, we now have a vast swathe of infantry to have a look at. Um, we've got six aggressors, five Hellblasters. There are 20 intercessors, but they are broken up into two, into four squads of five. And there are also, out of that 20, there are 10 which are veteran intercessors, denoted by the white helmet that they've got, which I've put at the front of the, this arrangement. So let's jump in, have a look at the aggressors to start off with, starting from the back and working to the front. Uh, aggressors, really, really cool. Loads 
and loads of little intricate details and massive amounts of armor on these and Fletcher's done a great job of edge highlighting all of these just to show you the really clean job that is across this commission uh, and uh, really nice attention to detail on all the little intricacies like these little totems and things that are just on the uh, hanging from the suits of armor pull forward one of the sergeants so you can have a look at him really love the uh, red uh, helmets on the, the uh, sergeants from the ultramarine chapter i think it really works extremely well with the color palette and again you've got the extra little tassels and things all done there with all the little gems and things on the crux terminatus just uh, being done and the gold u denoting him as a sergeant as well which i do really really like so that's just one sergeant i'll jump across so you can have a look at the other squad pull forward the other sergeant just so you can see consistency from miniature to miniature this is obviously the other sergeant from the squad again the same thing with all the totems and things all fully painted uh, and again really super super clean fit finish across all of the areas of detail on this miniature so that's just the other sergeant um, we will then jump on to have a look at the uh, hell blasters really cool models nice subtle glow on these plasma weapons as well uh, we haven't gone too crazy with the plasma go they're not going to a disco and uh, you've got uh, all the areas of the edge highlighting done across the armor of this marine um, really really super super clean and little lights and things on the wrists are all painted all the buttons and dials and uh, again that's super subtle plasma glow on the weapons pull forward the sergeant from that hell blaster unit so you can have a look at him uh, again all the eyes and everything all fully painted lovely flesh tones across all the bare heads on this force uh, with that subtle red tinge to them just to show that they're uh, full of life uh, you've got the purity seal there with all text on it and again you've got the sergeant transfer added to uh, to him uh, as he leads his hell blasters uh, we'll now have a look we'll have a look at one more just because they are really really cool these hell blasters uh, you can see all the little lenses uh, done on the uh, helmets as well with that point of light source and catch light and blend through the lens uh, so that's just another of these uh, of these awesome hell blasters uh, well then we've got 20 intercessors broken into four five man units we'll have a look at the standard intercessors to start off with and uh, this is just one of those with all of the little super sharp details painted uh, if you move around you can see the lovely attention to detail on the edge highlighting and also on all the intricate little details across the armor little lights done on the wrists as i mentioned uh, and the sights done on the bolt weapons as well and it will pull forward the first of the four sergeants and I will show all the sergeants uh, let's go over there or something he's telling them but uh, you can see the eyes and everything all done uh, and all the purity seal is fully painted and you've got the mag locked helmet there in the red to denote him as a sergeant now incidentally all the leather pouches and holsters and stuff across this force are all done in a nice black I think it suits really well to the colorway uh, so that's just the first sergeant we'll move through and have a look at some of the regular intercessors just quickly so you can have a look at those again I love this pose just advancing forward there which is really cool uh, so that's just another of the intercessors uh, we'll jump across the other side and have a look at the other sergeant which I do really like him he's got like a rebreather on which is really cool so that's just him uh, and a really really pristine sort of finish obviously we've got this tread plate industrial sort of uh, hive city kind of uh, basing that's been done on the, across this force and the other phases to this project as well incidentally this is a subsequent phase an additional phase to uh, some other uh, projects that we've done for this client for this ult uh, ultrarine army now we've got 10 uh, veteran intercessors, which I'd really like because they've got these, these awesome sort of uh, ivory sort of white uh, helmets on them, which I think is really cool. So let's have a look at the first of those. Again, a really, really phenomenally brilliant miniature uh, we've just got that white helmet on him and uh, extra little uh, tassels and things obviously purity seals there with the ultra symbol uh, all the little lights painted as I mentioned and uh, again that white helmet denoting that veteran status of that ultra marine so that's just him uh, we'll have a look at the sergeant first veteran sergeant uh, again all the flesh tones really lovely and uh, he's just looking at his communicator there with all those little uh, dials and things done you got the purity seal as i mentioned fully painted with text uh love the uh, retro pad with the uh, little nodules on it that's quite cool obviously got the mag locked helmet and obviously the gold u to denote him as a veteran sergeant uh and then we'll pull forward uh let's pull this, this chap he's firing i like him uh again this guy's just shooting about to execute someone maybe on the floor uh Again, you've got the, the extra little tassels and details and the Mouty Mount is more of a veteran uh, with that white helmet as well. You can see the red lenses on that helmet, which work extremely well, but all the lights and uh, lenses and everything all fully painted. Uh, again, really, really super, super clean finish on all of these Marines. I'll pull forward the other sergeant, uh, just so you can see him uh, radio into someone for backup, maybe, or just telling him where he, where he is. Shooting away there. Again, you can see all the eyes, teeth and everything fully painted. And uh, again, a really clean job done across all of these ultras uh, and that is all the infantry from this awesome awesome force uh, we have one final thing for you guys to see that's coming up and it is the hard hitting stuff so stick around
start last, we have the armoured fist of this Ultramarines force in the form of a Repulsor Executioner. Uh, absolutely covered in guns and firepower, so much so that even the Orcs are jealous of how much Dacker it brings to the game. Um, yeah, really, really great model. Um, there are just so many little details and things that are on this tank, and uh, Fletcher's had a great time working on it with all the little bits of uh, detail work. As I mentioned, all these cases and things, all painted through decent stages of highlighting and shading. You've got all the lenses, for example, Sample painted you can see there the lights and absolutely everything all done uh, if we move around you've got the really nice subtle transition of color uh, from darker and lighter portions where the light is catching on different armored segments of its uh, its form uh, if we just move around the side you've got little shrines and things that have got the purity seals on that are all painted uh, and move around the back you've got the uh, imperial aquila there a really awesome awesome transfer that's just been put on there plus obviously all the lights on the back of the tank which are done quite nicely um, and we've got the even the little lights and sensors above the doors are all painted so that's just uh, the overall painting form of the tank. Um, we also do have a little bit of magnetizing on it as well. So, for example, it's armed with the main with one version of the main gun at the moment. Uh, we'll then remove that, and then we'll include obviously the plasma weapon just in there. So, if we can go and have a look at that plasma weapon, there's a really nice subtle glow on that plasma as well, which just works quite nicely. And the lenses are all done on there. We also have a little bit of magnetizing for the uh, side option here, so you can just remove this option here and put on that one just so that it's got the option for our client but again a really awesome tank uh, great painting that's been done on it and i do hope that you've liked this along with the whole ultramarines force that's in this video they're now off to march from a crag and cause some absolute carnage with the enemies of the imperium So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.